At this point, the Gear 5 Luffy episode has more hype than every World Cup combined. Anime fans, people don't even watch anime are hearing about this Gear 5 Luffy and wondering what it is. It's being highly regarded. Streets are saying that it's going to be the greatest anime episode of all time. However, I am here to correct all of those opinions. The Gear 5 episode, which was in production for 7 months, is going to be the most overrated piece of content in the history of anime. It is going to be one of the worst episodes. Gear 5 Luffy is an overrated transformation. It is is not even that good if you've actually read the manga you would know that gear 5 luffy it is terrible we should have gotten this this is way better but the writer of one piece oda he made this goofy ass off-brand super saiyan all white transformation for luffy after he dies it just doesn't make any sense it's going to be the worst it's going to be the most overrated episode of all time is what i would say if i was delusional these new cherry blossom shorts are now available look at the quality on these it has a liner with a pocket in it so nothing falls out it also has a glow up pocket in the back so look at that quality god damn jeez that's a cop for me me. Also, these One Piece, Luffy, X, Nami, and Zoro theme shorts are available, and this Gear 5 AirPod case, so if you want to cop them, link below. This Gear 5 Luffy episode is going to be the greatest episode in anime. Gear 5 Luffy. It is going to be basically the equivalent of this generation's and many future generations Super Saiyan. Gear 5 Luffy embodies what Luffy and One Piece is in general. And some people said, like I said earlier when I was just kidding around, some people said that Gear 5 Luffy had been this this which if i'm being honest this dad just looks like a more edgy like emo version of snake man that makes no sense at all but odo odo was cooking something the scrumptious because he was cooking good with gear 5 luffy not only does it, it embodies entirely what luffy's character is he's literally laughing at the opponents making everything else rubber looking badass while he's doing it i mean you see how cold his wanted poster is the man is worth three billion which i don't even know how law and kid are even close to this man that is one thing i hate about one piece is like the power scaling luffy which has defeated the warlords, Yonkos, everybody. He's even trained really hard. He was in a prison training. He was gaining his power up. And then suddenly, you know, just for the plot, Law and Kid are just there. So I'll gain stronger without doing anything, especially Law. That's what I hate, man. But, but eh, it's whatever. Law and Kid are no match for Luffy, so I guess it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But so much work is going to this episode right here. 1071 and 1070, 1072, they are cooking. I bet the people that make the score, like the music in the background, they are planning some heat for this. I imagine it's just Gear 5 Luffy. He's changing. He's like, no, imagine Luffy dies, which is what happens. And he, has, he comes back to life in Gear 5 Luffy. But then all you hear is this all here is maybe it goes like to like a back screen or something but all here's bum 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 dun dun oh dun, 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 dun. that's a real reference but you get what i'm saying the drums of liberation it, it pff, man this episode's gonna cook however there is one thing that i will not agree with everybody on people say that the smearing like okay i'll show you an example right here people say that the smearing animation is the best in one piece which i highly disagree with i love it and i think it looks the best it flows the best and it's overall just the highest quality when it has like the big bolded lines across them i think that just looks so beautiful man it also makes them pop more a really big example of this is when luffy has the virus on him this is what i'm talking about you see those big bolded lines that are across them i don't know if that means it's hand drawn or something but they need to keep that because that looks amazing because the smearing is sometimes it's good i feel like sometimes it's terrible and it could be more of a fumble and i just think it overall embodies like boldness he's like in your face just laughing it's crazy actually just one more thing that i disagree with about this episode is i hate how everybody is now starting to watch one piece only to see wano or gear 5 luffy I can't name the amount of people like that I see in comments, the internet in general, where like, like, okay, I got 200 episodes to go to get to 1000. Oh, I got 50 episodes to go to get to 980 where Yamato appears for the first time. Like, first of all, why do you know that? Second of all, why do you care about Gear 5 and Wano that much? Like, if you go to like Zoro.to, Crunchyroll, anywhere you watch anime, you'll see the comments just filled with people like this. They're just like, they only care about Wano and Gear 5 Luffy. They'll be like, day 37 episode 938 137 more episodes to go to gear 5 luffy check mark like come on man just enjoy for what it is but other than that this episode's gonna bang best episode of all time and i think people are not gonna realize that one piece is the greatest piece of fiction not just in anime but just in general i mean one piece of work that is as great the story building the emotions the characters the side characters the main character the greatest the greatest main character of all time one of the best power systems of all time some of the best visuals fights and uh, man there's just nothing wrong with it and when people say the pacing is terrible i'm at episode 981 i've been watching one piece for around i think i started last year december 
So I've basically been watching this for 7 months and it took me that much time to get a 981. I feel like people say the pacing's bad or it just goes by slow and there's a couple reasons for that. One is like I said earlier that they're just focused on one thing. If you're just focused on getting to Gear 5 Luffy and Wano, everything else before that is going to feel like it's taking forever. If you don't just take it one step at a time, and you're just like, oh, I can't get to wait to Wano, I can't get to wait to Wano, and you're at Enos Lobby, obviously it's gonna be like forever. And two, it's trying to get the story building. One of the biggest criticisms I've seen of Wano is the pacing, but just think about it logically. You have the nine Straw Hats, each doing a different mission, while you also have Law, Peppo and his crew, you have Kid, you have the prison, you have a bunch of different things going on. Obviously, it's gonna take a long time to flesh all of that out. Like, I just, people over criticize the little things when it's just trying to build an overall world world like if it just went from boom 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 you just skip out on so much you need to get the detail all the details in which is what makes it a good story and people only just want to see like huge animated fights they want to see luffy kaido and i'm just like come on man enjoy the good things enjoy the peak things because when luffy and nami are confirmed that's when i'm just whoo that's when i know it's just the greatest piece of anything it's just the greatest thing ever but luffy and nami that's another story for another day oh they better cook that in too if you don't cook that in